I've known Kendall for probably ooh, eight years, um, and she would just kind of hang out in the learning center and read. Um, the Kendall I knew back then and the Kendall I know are vastly different. Um, she does a lot of, uh, of our public speaking. Um, when you first meet her, she's kind of shy and timid, but uh, if you'd see the Kendall that you'd see every day, very um, lively is the word, um, boisterous, uh, in, a, in a positive way though. She, she really cares about the club, the staff, the kids, um, herself. She is um, an old soul, I believe, and she has um, really matured. The Boys and Girls Club has given her um, confidence and responsibility, and she um, she's just really amazing. We're a normal family, I guess. Everybody's always busy, though, so we try to spend as much time together as we can when we all when it fits into our schedules. When we moved to the St. Cloud area back in the early 90s, childcare was an issue. You know, um, I've got two older school-age kids, and then at the time, my younger child was. Um, three and in preschool and um, just trying to make sure everybody was where they were supposed to be at the end of the day was really tough. I remember my first Boys and Girls Club trip was at the South Side unit. We, I went there until we moved on this side of the town where I live now and I've gone to the East Side Boys and Girls Club ever since. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club is a place uh, that provides hope and opportunity for young people um, that are in school and need a place to go after school uh, to help out with their homework. Um, just to be, be with positive role models and adults in their life that they may not have at home or, or they just need extra help. They are like, they're, for me, like the other parent that's, that's missing in my, in my um, family situation. Um, just the fact that they're, they're there, that they have, um, they make sure that Kendall is um, safe and she's fed and she is allowed the opportunities I don't think that she would necessarily get. They go on field trips, they, they go to camp, um, they put her in leadership positions where she's able to um, facilitate Torch Club and, and a lot of different things where she's learning just different skills. It's changed me for the better, I could say, because I've, I've been going here my whole life and I've always, when I was younger, if I didn't go to the club because I was at, um, at, at home sick, like I stayed home from school and I was sick, I'd be so worried because I'd be missing out on something that was going on at the club. The importance of having a club is to have the kids have somewhere to be, somewhere to, to interact with other youth. Um, we don't have any, any requirements for uh, great character. Um, we try to develop their character. So if they come in maybe with a bad attitude, we try to put a smile on their face and, and teach them some life skills. I believe that without the Boys and Girls Club, I'm not exactly sure where my kids would be right now. That they wouldn't have had the directives to be able to go on into the next phases of their lives, to be able to say, hey, I want to do things. There are things I want to do. I am um, I'm a great person and I can, I can make those steps forward and to, to not be afraid to be able to, to, to say how I feel and, and go where I need to go. I think that they've given them that platform to be able to do that. It's important. If there wasn't a Boys and Girls Club for some of the kids, they'd be stuck at home alone. I believe that if we would not have the help of the United Way, these kids would not get the opportunities that they have um, with, a, with a nice facility like this. Um, you know, the programming, the staff that go into it, um, we get a lot of that from United Way. It's a place where you can have fun and build close relationships with people that you will never forget in your lifetime. Like once you're a club kid, you're a club kid forever.